uh, to take you back into time, must have been 25 <laughs> plus years ago, I was introduced to the floor to speak. You know, us as young, young kids listening, and you get to, something compels you in your heart to get up and say something in the community forum. A lot of us youngsters, we could attest to it when we first get up and speak and the tears come down. We all been there. I've been there many a times. To get accustomed to looking at you and expressing how we feel. I had to do that in a family setting when I first got exposed to it. And my Uncle Don's down Marietta years ago. And the tears come. So I went home and rested on what were issues we was dealing with. In the community forum, we get, we was down, we was over here, our neighborhood facility when the gym was busy. And this old timer beside me here, he gets up. I was just a young kid in the audience. Brings me to the floor and he whispers in my ear. You know what he said to me? He says, Your community needs to hear from you. That was my introduction to you, being a spokesman for the community. And then years going by, my partner here talks about reinternment. My grandparents conditioned me to take care of our after spirits. Because that spirit's more stronger than this physical one. Because it keeps carrying on, keeps coming back, keeps coming back. And you get stronger <coughs> as the years go by. So a second time this man makes me stand up first year on council, 1996. Desecration at Samyamo, what he was talking about. We got people around here that help us through that time, them time, sad time. <clears throat> and his, his message at, time, at that time is he points at us council members and says, who are you? Which one of you is going to take responsibility? He's seen me stand up. So we put a team together to help our community in that regard. People with vision like this, and that picture on the wall up there, imagine yourself sitting down across the table from him, sharing crackers and tea or toast and tea, on getting that connection, what he truly was talking about, what he wanted you to come out and say, like Dr. Guillory was saying. You missed that today through the translation, Facebook, YouTube, Google it. You don't get the same effect. You don't get that connection, kids, as when you sit down and you eat that knowledge. You take it in. Take the time out and go visit. Which a lot of us, this whole community needs to work on. As I go around and talk with our elders before me, gone are the times that we used to go to a different place, whether it be down Marietta one week, 
or to portage the next? What shore the next time? Or even up here? Why does our community have to get together in time of sadness? We don't need to reminisce that way. But those times in a shared circle, the circle of sadness, our leaders need to know that you need to be in that circle to be a supporter of the people in their lowest times. I see it time and again. Lots of times I'm the, I'm the sole supporter of some of these families out here. That's what hurts me the most. of not sharing what we know. The language. Our language is going to take us through the hard times because it's written in black and white. It's supposed to be interpreted how we understand it, not how you misrepresent it misconstrued the echoes of our old ones. That's why the books come out. Segregation, apartheid, biases. No more shunning upon because after 1974, we knew that education was going to be the key to reaching out to other nations near and far to give them the tools to combat the federal government, the oppression that we lived upon, the coming out of our shell on our <laughs> forefathers meant it to be this way. Not to misconstrue or take it, take you down a different avenue. Put you into process after process these days. My partners and I, for years, since the onset of the Endangered Species Act, fighting for our existence, put together, put together affidavit after affidavit, coal terminal, vessel traffic, water quality, air quality. In this world we live in where everything's connected and everything's out of balance. We need that balance. Like these posts. One's a male, one's a female. And if it's out of balance, it's like a sphere. What happens when a sphere is out of balance? It don't move. That's what we're addressing. No, we can't move I-5. No, we can't move those cities. No, we can't move those municipalities. but we can make a difference if they reach out and listen and meet us halfway on the environment, the air. A 
because we find ourselves fixing something that we didn't create. The four witnesses that we we have in our legend, our culture. Columbia River still flows. She was a witness. The mountains still stand. And the sun still rises in the east and sets in the west. And the grass still turns green. Those four witnesses are strong today Our educators need to know where we're coming from and way of education and giving our spokesmen the tools how we interpret what's best for our community. That's all the message is. A message on interpreting how we could best put our best foot forward Go one step at a time. Because we can't do it alone. We can't. The degradation, the water quality, the air quality. And one old timer I met in Columbia River Valley, his name is Wilbert Slockish. I give up and I got up and addressed all the tribal leaders. And he comes and pulls me aside and says, I like what you have to say. Keep telling your story. Because you know and I know our biggest obstacle is they're still coming. He says there are just too many of them. <coughs> when are they going to wake up? <coughs> we was addressing growth management. And what comes with that? First resource they go after is the water. We've been saying it for years. You're taking too much water from our river. Our salmon are going to die. Pollutants come down our river. But who are we to tell them what you're doing is harmful to us? You just have to look back at the last 30 to 40 years in history. We no longer sit, sit along the stalo fork of the river and go out and catch food for our subsistence. It's a crime these days. Make criminals of our people trying to feed their families. We sit on the bank seven months of the year now to which once, which once was a land of plenty. <clears throat> that little city you see over there, Watcom, it grew by a handshake deal. Peabody, Rhoda, Eldridge, farming industry, our forest industry, and that city grew. For what? It was a deal that used the water. They killed those places. That river, that creek they call Squalicum, it's not Squalicum, it's Qualoch. And what does Qualoch mean to us people? Home of the chum salmon. You can't find a chum in there. 
When we was in grade school, we used to go down and watch that creek full of steelhead from January to April. Happy people stealing those fish. <coughs> They're a fish to us. We no longer fish steelhead. And that was our main fight in the latter 60s. When this man had a business, he'll tell you how they got rid of those. Had to disguise so he could feed our people. Those are the things that you will get when you sit down and talk to these older ones and what you want to know. Back there, I was telling the kids, well, I sat and listened. It's going on, it was going on 30 years before he got me up. 30 years of sitting and listening. And then you know what his words were after I got off the floor and he sits me down and he's, this is what he says to me. Where did that old man come from? And he says, you listened well, didn't you? I says, I thought I was going to have my grandparents forever. And how many of us been there think you're going to have your grandparents forever? That's how we are. It's what, what needs to be heard. And our children in the schools, you've seen the product of it. We went down was part of the curriculum to how to get it out. We sat there many a times in the gym. Lots of times it was just us two addressing the children. Keep moving on, keep doing this. Keep singing for the ones that can't sing. Keep dancing for the ones that can't dance. You will make us proud. <clears throat> they do. And what better setting than to set it up to where they absorb everything like a sponge. And what better way to get our language? We have to go, Steve. Okay. I see.